In this video, I'm going to show you how I create summary pages like this in OneNote where I pull in important and relevant bits of info from my individual note pages. These summary pages provide a quick overview of my projects and activities, and I find it helpful to use these pages as entry points to get to the information that I need. So there are two main reasons that prompted me to experiment with these summary pages. First, for all the projects and activities that I'm involved in, I want to stay grounded in the objective and the scope so that I don't stray. The way I organize my notes, I typically have a project or key activity assigned to each section of the notebook. So in this example, you can see that I'm working on three projects, new store opening, mobile point of sale, and physical inventory. The first note page in each section will be the summary page. This is where I capture the important details about the activity, like the objective, scope, schedule, etc. The rest of the section is made up of various notes, like the notes that I take during meetings, information that I pull in from other sources related to the project, and notes that I take for myself as I think through the project. So the sections grow very quickly as they get filled up with these note pages. But honestly, when I review these notes, by and large, only a small percentage of the notes that I capture are truly important and actionable. The rest of the notes merely serve as context. And as time passes, and as we make progress on each project and activity, even the once important piece of information becomes irrelevant. This is because updates and changes occur during a course of a project, like new decisions being made, which renders old decisions irrelevant. By maintaining a summary page for each section, with only the up-to-date and important info, I don't need to review all the other note pages. And if I do need additional context or details, I can link to those parts in the note pages specifically, and I'll explain more about this later. The second reason that prompted me to experiment with these summary pages is to have a dashboard view of all my active projects and activities. By having a landing page that shows what I'm actively working on, it helps me stay on top of everything and this summary page is useful to update my manager during our weekly status as well. As you can see, I have all my projects and activities listed in the first column, their status on the second column, and I'm using the traffic light to show whether a project is on schedule, at risk, or behind schedule. And in the third column, I show some of the next actions, key decisions made, and other relevant comments that help explain the status. This summary page gets updated as new information is pulled from recent notes. If I need to see the detailed notes or additional context, I can click on the appropriate link to go to the individual note page. It's important that I link to the details rather than copying and pasting the info. This ensures that I don't create duplicate snippets of info all over the notebook, which will make searching less effective. So the use of linking becomes a critical piece to this workflow. Within OneNote, you can link to a notebook, a section, a page, and even a paragraph. All you have to do is right click on the selected object and choose the copy link option. Let me quickly show each of the examples. And for pages, you have additional linking options. You can select multiple pages, then copy link to page. And when you paste it, you will see multiple links all at once. This is an easy way to create a table of contents for your summary page if you want. Another option you have for linking pages is the use of keyboard shortcut double brackets. Let me first collapse the page group so that you can see this better. If you insert a page name inside a double bracket, OneNote will automatically activate the link. If I click on it, you see that it takes me to that page. If the page name doesn't exist within the section, OneNote will create one for you. Look to the right as I type and you see new pages being created. So this is a quick way to link two pages while typing without losing your flow. Sometimes the link that you paste into the overview page is too long or it doesn't accurately describe the content you're linking to. In that case, you can right click to select the edit link, then change the text to display to what you want it to read.
Alternatively, you can just type the description for the link, select the description, and hit Ctrl K. You can then paste the link into the address. You can of course link to contents that is outside of OneNote as well. As long as the content resides in an accessible network or in cloud storage, you can use hyperlinks to them. For example, all my work files are saved in either OneDrive or in Team SharePoint site. I just have to copy and paste a link to the file. And in the case of PowerPoint, you can actually link to a specific slide within the presentation. This is super helpful, especially when you're referencing a large presentation file. There's definitely effort required to maintain these summary pages and keep the info up to date but it serves as a forcing function to make us review and organize our notes. After all, what's the point of taking notes and capturing information if you're not going to review and process them? For me, these summary pages have been helpful to stay on top of my projects and work activities. If you want to learn more about how I organize my notes for work, check out this video next. Thanks, and see you in the next video.